Yo, so today, and I know it's a little bit late, I have my roster update predictions for this week's roster update. It should be coming out tomorrow, Friday, May 14th at around noon Pacific, 3 Eastern for the times. On this video, I guess we're going for 483 or more likes, maybe 100 or more new subscribers to the channel today, working our way towards 100,000. In the comment section below, definitely let me know guys you think are going to get upgraded this week, maybe who people can make some last investments into. Leave them down in the comment sections or because I'm going to miss a lot of people, anybody that I missed, leave it down in the comments. Feel free to follow on Twitter or Instagram or Twitch, all of those links down in the description. And a couple things I want to say before we get into my predictions themselves. Number one is I don't have a ton, a ton of players on my list this week. There's a lot of guys I'm probably missing. I just ran out of time. I got some stuff going on. I won't be streaming Thursday or Friday. I got a little bit of a busy schedule right now. So for one, I'm missing probably a ton of players who deserve upgrades. And the number two, besides a couple positions here and there, uh, for this week at least, I'm really focusing on one or two players per position. So like I said, not a lot of players focused on this week, at least not nearly as many as last time. And then I'm definitely missing players just because I left someone out of this video does not mean that they do not deserve an upgrade or just because I included somebody in this video does not mean they are more deserving of an upgrade than somebody else. Also, I only focus on upgrades in my predictions. I never really focus on the downgrades. I think I've said everything I want to say, probably missing something. We're going to be starting with these starting pitchers and then we move on to relievers and closers and then just go through the positions pretty much how they are when you're sorting them on the market, stuff like that. So starting with the starting pitchers and really in no particular order, when we get to the positions themselves, we are starting with Huascar Yanoa. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I suck at pronouncing names, so please help me out there on the video down in the comment section. And this season at the plate, okay, we can toggle his attributes real quick right here. Uh, this season at the plate, he is 6'4'15" with two home runs and a double. So I fully expect an upgrade to his hitting attributes. Honestly, probably both his hitting and pitching, but I feel like as y'all can see, he deserves one for his hitting attributes with how he's doing this season. And then on the pitching side of things, he's really not doing too bad either. In 40 innings of work, he has a 9.8 strikeouts per nine, two walks per nine, 1.3 homers per nine, and six hits per nine with a 2.23 ERA. I feel like he easily gets the plus three that he needs to go up to silver. I would be very surprised, honestly, if he was not a silver by the roster of Dan on Friday. Next up, we have Brandon Woodruff, and he's continued his fantastic season since the last update. Currently has a 1.73 ERA with a league leading 0.4 home runs per nine and a stellar 4.5 hits per nine and then 11 strikeouts per nine. I could see him getting a small boost to all of these attributes besides the homers per nine, which I think needs a big boost, right? His homers per nine is 71 in the game, yet he is leading the league in home runs per nine. So I feel like that needs a big boost right there. And I'm not sure if I think he's going to go diamond in the roster today. I really don't know. I'm giving him a plus one, a nice little safe 84 overall. A lot of people think he's going diamond. I just don't, I just don't know if I see it happening, but if it does, I wouldn't be surprised. Next up is Shohei Otani. I truly think that he's easily going diamond this season, probably most likely by the end of June, honestly sooner in my opinion. However, I do not think it's happening this week. I feel like a plus five is a little bit risky of a prediction. I'm seeing him getting a plus two, maybe a plus three. Uh, if we go ahead and check out his hitting attributes, his power versus lefties in the game is a 58 overall, but three of his 10 home runs this season are versus lefties, and he has half the at-bats versus lefties that he does righties. So I feel like he needs a big boost to that power versus lefties, and he also has two triples and a double versus lefties too, so he's slugging really well, which is I think what they get power based on is their slugging. He's slugging really well versus lefties this season, and I think deserves a power boost for that for sure. And then for his pitching... His home runs per nine is only 50 in the game, or 52, and he's allowing .7 home runs per nine in real life, so I feel like that could use a boost as well, and just based on those two things, right, his power versus lefties, and then home runs per nine, if you just change those two, I think he easily gets to 81 or 82, and across the board, he's doing really well, so I would not be surprised at all to see him even get to an 83. I just don't think he'll be diamond yet. I could be wrong, but... 
I don't see him getting a plus five this week. Next up is Lance Lynn. And for me, I feel like this is the update where he finally goes diamond. He's pitched really well, honestly, the last couple seasons and is pitching extremely well, at least in my opinion, this season. He has a 1.42 ERA with only two home runs allowed in almost 30 innings pitched. His strikeouts per nine is at 10.6 on the season. His hits per nine is at 6.4. And I feel like he's going to easily get that plus one that he needs to go diamond. And just as, I guess, a little bit of an investment tip, right? This is something I wanted to mention in the intro, but one thing you can do with roster predictions, or if you have some ideas of your own who might get upgraded, it's a good way to potentially make stubs. And for Lance Lynn, at least at the time of recording this video, from what I've seen, I feel like his price is a lot or a decent amount lower than any other potential diamond candidate, right? Like looking at somebody like Giancarlo Stanton, Xander Bogart, somebody like that, where people really, really think they're easily going diamond. I feel like his price is a lot lower. And to me, I feel like Lancelin easily deserves diamond. So uh, if you are watching this video early enough and his price is still low enough, he could potentially be a nice little stub maker for you this week. If he does go diamond, that is. I'm not guaranteeing it, obviously. I have no idea, but I feel like he should. In my opinion, I really think he deserves it. And then last up for our starting pitchers is Tyler Glasnow. And I'm just surprised he's not a gold already. Uh, I'm really surprised to see him at a 79 overall. But if I'm not mistaken, he didn't even get touched in the last roster update. And I feel like he easily goes gold this week. I've been getting a plus two or plus three, maybe a little bit more, but easily going gold. He is leading the league in hits per nine at 4.6, has a fantastic strikeouts per nine at 13.7, and then a solid 2.37 ERA. I feel like he can easily get a boost that gets him a plus one, but I'm thinking a plus two, maybe even plus three. Also, when I say lead the league, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm meaning American League and National League when I say lead the league. If they're leading the entire MLB, I'll probably say they're leading the MLB to distinct between the two. So I think I said leading the league earlier for someone like maybe Brandon Woodruff, maybe for the same stat maybe for hits per nine I'm not sure maybe it was home runs per nine but either way I just want to make it clear that when I say leading the league I think I'm talking about American and national and I'll say leading the MLB when I mean leading the MLB now for the relief pitchers and closing pitchers again I am not saying that other relievers and closing pitchers don't deserve it he's actually my only guy Alex Reyes is the only guy I'm talking about when it comes to relievers or closers this week but that does not mean there are not people deserving relievers and closing pitchers of upgrades he's just the one that I'm focusing on and I decided to put some of my other effort into other positions as y'all just saw we had quite a few starting pitchers but Alex Reyes right now he is our first and only reliever or closer prediction for this week I've been getting a plus three or plus four upgrade probably a little bit biased as a Cardinals fan right but his walks per nine uh, admittedly is terrible this season but in 19 innings he has not allowed a home run he has a hits per nine of 3.3 strikeouts per nine of 11.4 with only one run allowed in his 19 innings of work for a 0.47 ERA so I feel like you can give him a little bit of a boost I might be overestimating with that plus three or four but I think he easily gets upgraded this week for me it's just a matter of how much and he's the only one that I focused on again for relievers and closers but that doesn't mean he's the only one and will definitely not be the only one that gets upgraded he's just the only one that I'm focusing on for the catchers I'm focusing on Buster Posey for these predictions I think he got upgraded in the last roster update uh, but with that being said I could see another plus one maybe even plus two this week due to increases in his hitting attributes okay he he has a 414 average versus lefties, a 367 average versus righties with three homers and one double versus lefties, and then five homers and two doubles versus righties. I feel like you could easily increase his contact versus righties and lefties, and then his power versus righties and lefties. And if they actually do that, I think he easily gets a plus one, maybe even that plus two. Definitely not going diamond, but... I think he's been hitting well enough where he deserves an upgrade and continues to be upgraded this week, even though he was in the last one as well. And now for first base, we have Nate Lau, Nate Low. I think it's Nate Low, but I could be wrong on that. And again, I just want to mention, uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm probably focusing on only one or two guys per position, especially because we had so many starting pitchers and I just ran out of time a little bit this week. So we don't have as many guys as I wanted to. Nate Lowe's our only one for first base. I have him getting a plus one or plus two. I think he's easily getting that 75 that he needs to be a silver. 
And I don't think it's super likely that he gets a huge boost since I think in the last update he got a pretty big one. Uh, but he's continuing to hit well this season. He's got a 315 average with six homers and three doubles versus righties. And then a 261 average with one home run and three doubles against lefties. So I could see his hitting attributes across the board getting small upgrades. And I think overall that would pretty easily get him to a silver this week. But again, he did get upgraded in the last one a couple weeks ago. So I wouldn't be surprised if they don't touch him this week and focus on other people who maybe didn't get in the last roster update. I just wanted to mention Jared Walsh. I forgot to throw him in with the first baseman, but I think he goes gold this week. As y'all can see, his contact versus righties and lefties is pretty similar. However, his average versus righties on the season is 388. But with that being said, it's only 244 versus lefties. And then if we take a look at slugging percentage, it is 688 versus righties. Uh, while, uh, you know, being only 366 versus lefty. So I think you might be able to easily boost his contact and power versus righties at, uh, and enough to get him to a gold. But I'm also concerned that, you know, they might lower his uh, contact and power versus lefties, which might offset him getting gold. So I feel like he's been playing pretty well on the season. If he goes gold this week, I wouldn't be surprised at all. However, if they offset the uh, the... Upgrades and downgrades to him a little bit, and he stays where he's at. I also want to be super surprised. For second base this week, we're going to be talking about Adam Frazier. I don't see a ton of people talking about him. However, maybe I'm just missing it. But for me, he easily goes gold this week or in the next roster at a couple weeks from now. Now, with that being said, I'm giving it to him this week. He's only one overall point away. And in the last couple weeks, since the last roster update, he's hitting 315. And then in the last week, he's hitting 417. And overall on the season, his average versus righties is 333, while only 242 versus lefties. So I think you could easily boost his contact versus righties in the game, and maybe his uh, contact versus lefties even two or three points as well, since it is pretty low in game. And I think that if you just increase that contact versus righties, that alone could maybe get him to gold. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. And for power, looking at that 52 and 34 power rating, he's slugging only 442 on the season, but in the last week, he's slugging 625. So maybe some small power boost coming as well. And I, I have him going gold this week, but if it doesn't happen, I wouldn't be super surprised. But if he keeps hitting how he is, I would be surprised if by the next roster update, he's not a gold. For third base this week, we have someone who I've seen a lot of people talking about, and that's going to be Chris Bryant. I have him getting a plus one or two maybe a plus three this week if he somehow went diamond I guess I wouldn't be surprised but I think it's a stretch that he would get a plus four this week since I don't think you could really upgrade his fielding too much uh, but he's on I feel like he's on the path to diamond right now and could honestly be a sneaky investment opportunity okay if we take a look at his price it's only 2300 if he goes diamond you could quick sell him for 5,000 stubs and make a big profit so I feel like if you invest in him now the way he's hitting on the season, I would not be surprised if at some point he does go diamond. I just don't see it happening this week. As for individual attributes and, and stats for the season, why I have him getting an upgrade this week at all uh, is that he has 94 at-bats versus righties, 26 versus lefties. Okay, keep that in mind. A lot more, about three times as many more, if not a little bit more, uh, versus righties. And he has five homers and nine doubles versus righties, but four homers and five doubles versus lefties, which is pretty insane in the small amount of at-bats. And then a 277 average versus righties with a 423 average versus lefties. His walk rate on the season is up compared to last year, so I think you can increase his vision at least maybe a little bit. And I think his contact and power versus righties, as I mentioned with those stats, probably deserve a slight boost, maybe three or four each, while his contact and power versus attributes versus lefties, as y'all can see, are pretty high. And I feel like he's shown, though, that they deserve to be at least a little bit higher. He's hitting extremely well in terms of average and power versus left-handed pitchers. And for the entire MLB this season, I know I'm focusing on Chris Bryant a lot, but I was just really interested going through his stats. Uh, for the entire MLB this season, he is fourth in both uh, slugging and OPS. So he's hitting for power. He's hitting well. He's getting on base a lot. So uh, with all that being said, I do think his fielding is holding him back a little bit uh, when it comes to becoming a diamond. However, if he keeps hitting how he does, I truly think he's going to go diamond this year. Just probably not this week. Maybe the next update, maybe the one after that. But I feel like in my opinion, at least how he's playing right now, 
he's a pretty safe investment for the short stops we actually have more than one this week we're starting with jorge polanco i think everybody watching can probably guess who the second and final one we're talking about is but we're starting with jorge polanco he's one away from silver i think he could probably get there this week now he started off slow on the season but if you look at the last 30 days he's hitting 311 in the last 30 days and then 361 in the last 15 days also in the last 15 days he has three home runs a triple and four doubles so i feel like he's just starting to hit better in general hitting for a little bit more power and i think it's a stretch to say he's going to get a huge boost like a plus two three or four but i feel like at least as of recently and since the last update he's more than deserving of a plus one and getting up to silver and last but not least for the short stops we are of course talking about xander bogarts i feel like there's an extremely high chance which a lot of people i feel like feel this way as well that he gets at least a plus one this week up to a diamond his contact ratings as y'all can see are already really high in game but his power attributes 66 versus righties and 73 versus lefties they're pretty low and i think they both could use at least a small boost in the game he's slugging on the season 602 versus righties and then 524 versus lefties and overall in general he has the 11th highest slugging percentage in the mlb and the 10th highest ops so for me i feel like those stats show that he deserves a power boost and i feel like if he does get that power boost this week it's going to get him to diamond and last but not least i feel like a lot of people probably expected this one same with xander bogarts right i feel like they were probably the most too expected in my opinion obviously some other guys but uh, a lot of people, I think, have been expecting Giancarlo Stanton in these roster predictions. Now, he had a pretty slow start to the season, but as of lately, he's picked it up quite a bit. I feel like he easily gets a plus one up to an 84 overall. And just like a lot of other people, I'm having to get a plus two up to an 85 up to the Diamond Club. If we take a look at his last 30 days, he has a 330 average with a 440 average in the last 15 days. And that also includes a 1260 OPS in the last 15 and a 1044 OPS in the last 30 days with eight homers and five doubles. And then four homers and four of the five doubles from those 30 days coming from the last 15. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, I don't think his power is really going to be touched. But with his average in the last 30 days being a 330 and then in the last 15 since that last update being 440. I feel like you can easily boost his contact enough versus both sides to get him up to an 85 overall. With that being said, on the season, his average versus righties is 295 and 286 versus lefties. And his contact versus righties is lower than it is versus lefties in the game. So I don't know if this is what will happen, but I feel like you could maybe boost his contact versus righties up to like a 68 or a 69 and maybe keep his contact versus lefties where it is. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Either way, just like a lot of y'all, I have him going diamond this week for my final prediction of the week. Again, just like I said at the beginning, I know that I left down a ton of people we didn't focus on a lot. We focused on a lot of starting pitchers, honestly. And I just didn't have as much time as I wanted to this week. And typically for my roster updates, I'm going to focus on upgrades only. And probably, usually, on average, one or two guys per position just to try to divide it out and still not have the video be like 30 or 40 minutes long because it's already long enough. I already talked about players long enough. And it would just be, I think, in my opinion, a little bit overwhelming if I focused on more players than I already do. But with that being said, there's a lot of guys that I did not talk about that definitely deserve upgrades. Leave them down in the comment section. I want to see what y'all think as well. Roster update again is tomorrow at noon Pacific 3 Eastern. They happen every other week on friday so none next week but we should get another one two weeks from now i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe social medias i'm interested to see what you think of my predictions you know not who i left out but who i talked about if you agree disagree anything like that i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day peace out